All right guys, John from The Great Explorer here. I am busy packing up for a uh, big trip I've got coming up very, very shortly. And since I keep getting asked about it, I thought I'd bring you along for that. I'm gonna show you about my boat and what goes in it. Stay tuned. The kayak is a Dagger Katana 10.4 in aqua blue. Its shape and profile makes this crossover boat handle both rapids and calm water. I have added a few GoPro mounts and I've modified the foam bulkhead to make it removable in the field. So I added just a rib nut here so I had to accept this wing nut. It's a huge addition and it's such a simple thing to do. It cost me maybe three, four pounds and if I lose that wing nut, I keep a spare <laughs> in the float too. This thing gives me access to the storage space beyond the footwall. You'll have also have noticed in my last video that I had this as a trolley. I use this for portages between long stretch where I have to walk with the kayak. The kayak's 25 kilos, so it's a quite a heavy weight. Now thankfully because of that modification I did at the front, I have the extra space for the removable wheels. Now because what's left of the trolley now is so small, it just fits behind the seat. Still got enough room there to get back in. What comes next is my bilge pump. It's by Palm. I hope to never use it, but if my boat was to go in the drink, I could pump it out with that. It's very handy. It sits here. And for when things really get scary, I've got a throw line too. That sits there, because I need that to be quick access. Thing that you'll see a hundred times and I'll always wear. Point here. This one's by Palm again. It's the Adventure Line series. Pick this one because I have lots of pockets. Attached to that is a very, very loud whistle. After that, we've got a little sponge. That's just used for tiny little dribbles that happen in the boat. That normally lives in the side down there. We've got my Werner Taibi paddles. These are really, really commonly used by pretty much everybody. That's why I wrote my name on it. A Palm Lowe's Water Spray Deck. I think exciting is just a spray deck. It keeps the water out of this area. Now that's the kayak in gear sorted, so we'll step it up to an overnighter. So we're going to start putting the camping kit in now. We'll start with this, which is my tent. It's a Nemo Dragonfly. I'll put a link here for the review I did on that, and I won't say much more about it now. Here's my sleep mat. I've got the, the stuff sack and blow bag here to go with it. But this is my favorite bit of gear bar none. It's R value is 6.9, which is the highest you can get. Love, love, love this damn thing. Then my seat is on a pillow. This is a seat is on sleeping bag liner. It keeps my sleeping bag nice and nice and uh, clean. When I come home, I just wash this instead of washing the sleeping bag. It also adds a little bit of warmth. Then this damn thing, <laughs> this is my sleeping quilt. This is quite new, it's from Thermarest. I've only had this maybe a year, but you know with COVID, didn't get used much. It's a quilt, hasn't got a back on it. Extremely lightweight, comfort rating is zero. Love it. That fits into this. A 20 litre Cedar Summit dry bag. This is a heavy duty dry bag, it's immersion proof. And all that will fit in there, like this. First thing in is the sleeping quilt. This goes in first because it's the last thing that comes out. Lots of room. Pillow. Same goes for the sleep bag liner. So the sleep mat is inside the stuff, the pump side there, so that also goes in. One bag done. The only thing that doesn't go in there is the tent. So this is the bag we just packed. It's my sleep kit. It doesn't wear that much. So this one goes in and goes right to the back. So that means I'm filling the back end of this with very light gear, well, as light as I can get it. Now we get the clothes. I'm going to take my Montane Terra hiking pants. I'm taking these because they're very comfortable and they're quick drying. So these are coming. These are my decathlon shorts. Same material as the Montaigne's, not as expensive, but these are really comfy and I think this is what I'm going to be spending most of my time in. My Salawa warm jacket. You've seen me wear these on my trips before. It's super comfy warm. 
Uh, it's an Italian brand. Uh, the insulation is wool. It packs down really small and it feels lush. So I'm taking that one. A warm hat. A warm hat, mostly for sleeping, but I'm taking it anyway. A couple of Bridgedale socks. Personal favourite. Bare underpants. Merino wool, nice and easy. My Woodcraft Pioneers cap, love this thing, wear it all the time, it keeps the sun out of my face. Two rash shirts, my, my new one, it's got like a tattoo-y type of dealio and the black and green one. You saw me wear this in my last video, you saw me wear this a hundred times. Weirdly, a question I get a lot of, my shoes. These are trail running shoes, waterproof up until a point. Um, these are great for the kayak, I love them. They're really comfortable to wear. So these will be going, I'll probably be wearing these all the time. That'll all be packed into here. See you summit, 35 litre, and it'll go in the back. Again, because it doesn't weigh too much, let's go all the way to the back. Now we've got both the clothes and the sleep kit in here. We've still got all this room here. The tent will go in here and a few other bits and pieces, but still, still loads of room, it's what is quite a small boat. So the cook kit really depends on what you're actually cooking. There's no point bringing um, a grill if you're not bringing any meat. So because I'm bringing pouches, as I've been doing on my last few trips, I only actually need my jet boil. Now this brings my kit down substantially as opposed to my normal cook kit. Now when it comes to water, I normally have a bladder in, it, in my buoyancy aid, but it's starting to get in the way. So I've decided I'm gonna go back to a water filter and just a normal one litre bottle bottle. So because I'm British, I do have about 100 tea bags, which is about maybe half a day's worth. However, to steer myself away from just pouches, I'll also be bringing uh, Snickers bars, some boiled sweets, just some sugar to get the calories in. I'm gonna be burning a lot of calories, so I need a lot of food. Put my day's worth of food in the cockpit of the kayak and the rest of it will go in the boot. These little bad lads are one of my favorite breakfasts. It's peanut butter. In a think breakfast bar, there's like 600 calories in these things, and they're bloody delicious. So I'll be carrying a lot of these too. Right, right, the target is now. We'll keep this one brief. Bag, toilet paper, wet wipes, Chinese shovel. I think we all know what that's for. When it comes to midges, though, I go with smidge. And this mid repel, it's stupidly simple. I really like this stuff, it smells lush. And a uh, mid net. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Sun cream, which I always forget to put on. Burt's Bees lip balm. Outdoor soap, kindly environment. You can use it in locks and streams and that, it doesn't affect the environment. And sanitizer for after that rubbish. Six feet of bank line, just for extras like washing lines. First aid kit with uh, some bitch mints, some painkillers, uh, some tick cards, some anti-chafe stuff, some tape, migraine tablets. Once it's all packed up, looks something like this, nice and small. That's actually my hand. So for quick access, I have another bag that sits behind my seat in the kayak on top of the trolley. And it's this one. It's an adventure kayak, ultra dry adventurer bag. And it's got shoulder tops so I can carry it around, so I can carry it around like a backpack. And in that is all the stuff that I want very quickly. So my jet boil will go in there. My towel will go in there, it's a microfiber towel with a cool mat on. My first aid kit will go in there for obvious reasons. My sleeping socks. So if I fall on a boat and need some warmth, I can put them on. My kayak lock. Duct tape for quick repairs. Another length of rope. This one's Kevlar. Head torch for any things we go out far too late. Uh, my waterproof jacket, which is brand new, I haven't even used it yet. Water filter. This will probably this is my water bottle, and this will probably live in the boat instead of in the bag. But I'll put it in the bag for now. Spork, folding cup, a 
and a map of the route for four days. On the buoyancy aid, in the pockets, will be a lighter and a knife. So one last kit that I haven't talked about is because it doesn't really apply to everybody. It's my filming gear. So I'll quickly run through that too. I've got my DJI Mavic Air 2, which I'm really enjoying. The, the footage I'm getting out of this is amazing. There's I have two batteries, two extra batteries for that too. I've got a GoPro Hero 7. Haven't upgraded yet to the 9 because I know the 10's coming out very shortly. With two batteries, I've got a third, so I've got four batteries in total. And the charger. iPhone 11 Pro. This goes around the GoPro and is a little float, so it helps the GoPro float. And a big old anchor battery pack, 20,000 milliamps. I also bring a full size tripod and a swan neck for the GoPro, which normally sits here, like so. That's how you get that, ele that elevated view that you guys normally see when you're watching my videos. Also, you can quite easily turn around so I can talk to camera, but that literally is everything. I've got nothing else in there. I've got no more space to put anything in fairness. If you guys found this at all interesting, uh, check out my other videos where I actually go out kayak camping. Uh, some of them are really good. Thanks guys for watching. See you later. Bye.